Hello guys, this is Mauro from Brainfotech.com and on this video we'll go through the steps to do a clean installation of Windows 10 with the Spring Creators Update or version 18.03. A clean installation simply means erasing everything on your device and installing a fresh copy of Windows 10. This will not only help you to avoid upgrade problems, but you will start in with a new installation which can improve system performance and fix existing issues. Just remember that a clean installation deletes everything on your computer, so always create a full backup before proceeding. You can check the video notes below to find a link to watch the video with the steps to do a full backup of your computer. In this tutorial, I'll be using the media creation tool to create a USB bootable media to install the Windows 10 version 18.03. You can get the media creation tool from this Microsoft support website. You can find the link in the video notes below. Once you're on the website, simply click the uh, download tool now button to save the media creation tool on your computer. Double click the file. Accept the licensing terms, select the installation media option and click next. If the edition architecture and language is different for what's being chosen for you, you can clear this option and select the uh, proper architecture, edition and language. Once you've done that, click next. Select the USB option and click next. Select the drive that you want to use to create the bootable media and make sure that that drive has at least four gigabytes inside and also make sure that you don't have any data that you want to keep because through this process the USB will be erased. Click next. After the media is created keep the USB flash drive connected and reboot your computer. Also make sure that your device can boot from USB. Usually to boot from a USB drive you need to change the BIOS settings, which is pretty much different on every device. So make sure to check your PC manufacturer support website for more details. However, typically you can access these settings by pressing one of the functions key, delete key or escape key during boot. After restarting your computer, with the Voodle Media and the Windows Setup, click Next. Click Install Now. If Windows 10 was already installed and properly activated, you don't need to enter a product key on this step. Windows 10 will automatically activate after the installation. So in this step, you can simply click the I don't have a product key option. Select the edition of Windows 10 you want to install and click Next. Accept the terms by checking the option and click Next. Because we'll be doing a clean installation, click the custom install Windows only advanced option. If you have multiple partitions, you can select each one and click the delete button to create a single big partition to install Windows 10. You only need to delete the partitions on the main drive. If you have multiple hard drives, like for example, right here I have a different drive. You don't have to delete those partitions. Once you deleted all the partitions on the main hard drive, click next to install Windows 10 with the Spring Creators Update. Now let's finish up setting up Windows 10 with the Spring Creators Update. Select your region and click yes. Select your keyboard layout and click yes. If you don't need to add a second keyboard layout, click skip. Select the uh, setup for personal use option and click next. Enter your Microsoft account email address. If you don't have one, click the uh, create an account button. Or if you're looking to use Windows 10 with a local account, click the offline account option. Once you enter your Microsoft account information, click next. Enter your Microsoft account password and click next. Starting with version 18.03, Windows 10 will be more pers persistent to create a pin. So click the uh, set up a pin button and create a new pin. Once you created your pin password to access Windows 10, click OK. You can also link your phone to your PC, but that's a thing that you can do later. So click the uh, do it later button. If you like to use Cortana, you can click yes and you can also let Cortana to respond to the uh, a Cortana voice command. This is the new 
privacy settings page, which includes two additional options, including the uh, inking and typing, and find my device. By default, all the options are enabled. If you disable each option, you also get details of what will happen if you turn off that particular privacy setting. Usually, you will want to leave them all enabled. Once you're done configuring your privacy settings, click Accept. Once Windows 10 with the full credit is updated installed on your computer, make sure to go to Settings and Updating Security to check for updates. Also remember to install your applications and restore your files from backup. And that's all there is to it. Please make sure to check the uh, video notes for important information, such as the release date for this new version of Windows 10 and more. Remember to like the video, share it, leave your comments, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.